The famous writer Napoleon Hill once had a conversation with the devil. This is how it went. Explain how you gain control over human beings. The story is too long to be told in a few words. It began over a million years ago, when the first man began to think. Up to that time, I had control over all mankind. But enemies of mine discovered the power of positive thought, placed it in the minds of men, and then it began a battle on my part to remain in control. So far, I have done quite well by myself, having lost only 2% of the people to my opposition. Tell me something more about the world you live in. I live wherever I choose. Time and space do not exist for me. I am a force best described to you as energy. My favorite physical dwelling place, as I have told you, is the minds of the earthbound. I control a part of the brain space of every human being. The amount of space I occupy in each individual's mind depends upon how little and what sort of thinking that person does. As I have told you, I cannot entirely control any person who thinks. What do you mean by your opposition? My opponent controls all the positive forces of the world, such as love, faith, hope, and optimism. My opponent also controls the positive factors of all natural law throughout the universe. The forces which keep the earth and the planets and all the stars balanced in their courses. But these forces are meek in comparison with those which operate in the human mind under my control. You see, I do not seek to control stars and planets. I prefer to control human minds. For more conversations, like and follow for part 3.